Johnson. I've read it. <laughs> <laughs> I, I was just saying at the end of that, I was like, right, for, for Tennessee Williams, Tennessee Williams. The Glass Menagerie, it's, it's always been my favourite play, um, I, which I never thought I would direct because I first started working in Edinburgh at the Traverse Theatre, working with writers, doing new, creating new plays. Um, but The Glass Menagerie was always there. I read it when I was a student at Glasgow University and that, that story of, of, of regret and guilt um, is, is incredibly powerful um, and I connected really deeply with it, um, even though it's set in St Louis in the 1930s and I'm from uh, Yorkshire in the 1970s. In the introduction to The Glass Menagerie, Tennessee Williams writes an essay called Plastic Theatre. And when I read that, something clicked for me. Um, it's all about how theatre should never be naturalistic or realistic. It, it, it should always be striving for something theatrical and poetic and lyrical. Cherry Jones is coming, who's one of my favourite actresses. She's, she's like hugely respected um, in America, She's done tons of work on Broadway. Anyway, I met her and um, she'd just come from Tennessee, which is where she was born and bred. And, She'd been, her and her sister had been clearing out their parents' house, both of whom um, are, were and are dead. And um, she'd found some letters that her mum had written to her dad, and so she suddenly started talking um, in her mum's voice, and suddenly, in this kind of southern Tennessee, Paris, Tennessee, she's from, and suddenly I heard the voice of Amanda Wingfield, and suddenly I thought, right, OK, here we go, now's the time. And, and the idea of directing that play with real American actors, which I know sounds a bit strange now, but as a British director, you know, you never think you're going to have that opportunity. Where Glass Menagerie sits within the, the, uh, the, the whole of Tennessee Williams's work is, it was his first real full-length play um, of any note. And it's by far the most biographical. So he, his, his real name is Tom and uh, he was then called Tennessee um, when he became a writer um, and the main character is called Tom. He was very guilty about the fact that he was pursuing his, his ambitions and dreams as a playwright instead of looking after his sister. He thinks he abandoned her uh, and then years later, even though she was still alive, he, he, he wrote The Glass Menagerie, I think fu fueled by guilt and wrote it as a memory play. But talking to, to my friends and colleagues here they're as excited as seeing someone like Cherry Jones in Tennessee Williams as we might be seeing Kenneth Branagh or Laurence Olivier do Shakespeare.